This tutorial video will be covering sending a channel path being sent through the Solid State Logic Duality SE24 Channel Desk using Avid Pro Tools 10. It will show step-by-step -step instructions on how to get a signal flow from the channel strip into Pro Tools, then send that same signal back through to a headphone amp using the auxiliaries. Channel Strip Channel Input This is one of 24 channel strips that can be found on the SSL. This section is the channel inputs. It includes the input gain, which can be adjusted between plus 15 and plus 75 decibels. The variable harmonic drive of VHD adjusts the amount of overdrive and modulates the harmonic mix to emulate classic valve and transistor desks. It can be accessed by pressing the DVR in button, then adjusting the limits accordingly. Dynamics. This section can control certain dynamic settings of a signal. From this section, you can add a built-in compression unit and then gate the signal. EQ and filters. This is the EQ and filter section where you can filter the EQs from pre or post inputs at low frequency, high frequency, high mid frequency and low mid frequency. Q and FX outputs. The main focus of the Q and FX output section for this tutorial is to understand how to fold back the signal to a headphone amp which will be covered shortly. Channel output pan. From this section you can control the panning of the signal by anything from hard left to hard right. Setting up a Pro Tools session. First, open Avid Pro Tools 10. Then open a new session by going File, Open, New Session. This window will then appear. Set the audio file type to WAV, the bit depth to 24 bit, and the sample rate to 44.1 kHz. If they are not set to these requirements, then in the I.O. drop down box select CB302 Main Settings. Then click Create and save the session appropriately. Next, create two new tracks by going Track, new or use the shortcut command n. This window will then appear. Set the values as follows. Two tracks, mono, audio tracks, samples, then click create. Open up the mix window by clicking window, mix or use the shortcut command equals. Set the input interface or IO from the audio path selector of the tracks 1 and 2 to 1 mono. Set the output from the audio output path selector of track 1 to 1 mono and track 2 to 2 mono. Then enable track recording by clicking this and name the tracks accordingly. Now you should have a signal flowing to the desk which you can see from the channel input. Adjust the gain on the channel input section so that you have a healthy signal level. Adjust the long fader for the signal source to be sent through the studio speakers so you can hear what you're working with. To send the signal through to the headphone amp, push the first auxiliary found in the QST group on the Q and FX section on the channel strip. This enables a connection and allows the signal to flow from the desk to the headphone amp in the live room, so adjust the volume of the signal using the same auxiliary. You must do this on every channel that you want the signal to be sent from, so in this case channels 1 and 2. You can then pan channel 1 hard left and channel 2 hard right to widen the sounds to give you a better understanding and more options to work with in the mix. With this setup, you can use the talkback button to communicate from the studio to the headphones in the live room. The channel select section on the SSL allows you to select the amount of channels you wish to work with. You can either select all by pushing the select, then all button, or select the chosen amount by pushing select and then the plus or minus button to choose the amount. Solo and cut buttons can be found on each channel strip of the desk. The solo button cuts every other channel strip so only the selected solo channels can be heard and the cut buttons cuts the selected channels from the mix. The transport section of the desk is linked with Pro Tools so you're able to play, record by pushing play and record simultaneously, stop and navigate the mix using these buttons. You are now ready to record a signal using the SSL desk into Pro Tools using channels 1 and 2 with fold backing headphones also set up with talkback capabilities.